We can easily calculate the duration between two time periods using Power Query, but when you load the data to Excel or the Power Pivot model, it returns a result in decimals, which are difficult to interpret at a glance. So in this video, I'm going to hand you over to Phil, who will show you a way to format the duration in an easy-to-read layout that clearly labels the number of days, hours, and minutes. Thanks, Minda. So I'm running my super duper delivery company and I wanna track how long each delivery takes by logging the date and time of every pickup and drop off. Here's a typical data set. I can create a column to calculate how long each delivery takes by subtracting the delivery date time from the pickup date time. I'm gonna call the column delivery duration and all I need to do is subtract the value in the delivery column from the value in the pickup column. And I get a nicely formatted duration showing the days, hours, minutes, and seconds for each delivery. In the Power BI data model, durations are stored as decimal numbers. So let's change this column to decimal data type so we can see how it's represented. The whole part of this number represents the number of days and the decimal part represents fractions of days. These durations need to be stored as decimals so that calculations can be done with the numbers. But it's very hard looking at a decimal number like this to understand how many hours and minutes have elapsed. So we need to format these numbers into some human readable format and in Power BI using DAX I'm going to write a measure that shows you how to do this. Let's just change this to the duration data type and yes I'm going to replace that current type conversion. So now we have a column of durations in the duration data type. Just before I close and apply to load the data into the Power BI data model I'm going to duplicate this duration column and set it as text and I'm doing this just so I have a reference to the correct durations in the days hour minutes format and I can make sure my DAX code is converting the decimal durations correctly. I'm done in Power Query so I'm going to close and apply. So in Power BI Desktop you can see I have a table visual showing the same data that we were just looking at in Power Query you can see that the delivery durations are indeed stored as decimal numbers. So let's create a measure that converts this to a nicely formatted string. On the table, right click, click on new measure. I'm calling this measure delivery time. And to save a little bit of time, I'm just gonna paste in code that I created earlier. The measure uses several variables that store the different parts of the time. The first variable is the delivery duration itself. Using selected value, I can get the delivery duration from the current row. Let's use the first row value of 1.878472 to explain how this works. With the duration of the delivery stored in the elapsed time variable, working out the number of days is as easy as taking the integer part of that number, giving us one. Next, I use an intermediate variable to calculate underscore hours the integer part of this number is the hours and the decimal part is the minutes. Again, using the int function on this number gives whole number of hours, which is 21. That leaves the minutes, which are worked out by subtracting hours from underscore hours to leave just the decimal 0 0.083328. Multiplying that by 60 gives a figure for minutes and rounding that to zero decimal places results in a value of five minutes. Putting this all together into a string gives one day, 21 hours and five minutes. I press enter to save that code. We have a new measure in our table and I'm going to add that to the visual. You can see that checking against the delivery duration text column, my measure gets the same answers that Power Query did. So I'm confident that my code is working correctly. Just one thing to note, in the measure, I'm using the format function, and this allows me to insert leading zeros as needed so I get 05 rather than just five minutes. If I don't use format on both the hours and minute values, the values in the column don't align. So I'll put format back and the column will again be nicely aligned top to bottom. With the measure written, I can now remove the decimal duration column and the text duration column from the visual. The decimal duration column still exists in the data table and it's still needed for other calculations or to create visuals, so don't delete it. In my table visual, 
the delivery time column now lets me see the duration in a nicely formatted, easy to read way. I hope you found this technique useful. You can download the Power BI file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.